absolutely love the message of this song 100%. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a Patreon request from Jeanette Schwenk. She's got me on somebody called Alessia Cara. I think that's how you say her name. And it's Scars to Your Beautiful it is the name of the song. I have no idea who this is. I've never heard of the name or anything, so I don't know what to say. And one thing with Jeanette, though, she does point me in the right direction when it comes to music, so I'm looking forward to see what this is. Now, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like my videos, then please consider it in like and subscribe, and the link to this video will be down in the description for anyone who wants to check it out by themselves. Okay, first time listening and seeing Alessia Cara. Ah, scars to your beautiful. Let's get it. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. She knows okay. no limits. She craves attention. She praises an image. She prays to be sculpted by the sculptor. Hey, I'm Jess Carmel. It's Francesca. I'm Miles. Myrian. Marnie Florence. Siobhan. Joanna. Christina. Josh. It's Kylie. Miranda. It's Jared. Grace. It's James. Ashley. See. The light that's shining Deeper than the eyes can find it okay. Maybe we are made a blind So she tries to cover up her pain wow. And cut her woes away Cause cover girls don't cry After the face is made But there's a hope that's waiting for you I absolutely love the message of this song 100%. Doesn't matter who you are, what what you've got, what's like. There's obviously some people here with varying conditions and this, that and the other. Um, and, you know, embrace who you are. Embrace the scars to you. Everybody's beautiful. Who are the, who are the people in society to call somebody else um, for anything? I, I'm not going to narrow it down and start putting people in brackets and stuff, but I'm generalising it. Who are we as society to call anybody for either looking different or being different to what people perceive as normal? Everyone's a person. Everyone has feelings. Everyone has thoughts. You know what I mean? And and I absolutely love that the whole th the whole message of this song because it's positive. It's positive from other people's perception of negative or what they perceive as different. That was hard to try and work out with me, I didn't say. But yeah, I love the message she's spreading. This is a and it's a good song as well. Let's go. My peers, and then there was me. And a lot of people aren't afraid to, to give their opinions whether they're hurtful or not. People would laugh and stare. People watching you eat and making little comments. As I grew up thinking that I had to look a certain way. I never thought I was as pretty as the other girls. Be proud of it. I shouldn't be trying to hide it. That's the impact that you have on people because people don't take someone who's like, like, just I'll set one person out of there, for example, the guy with the ear missing. Well, part of his ear missing, and people obviously point and stare and say, "Oh, look at that!" Blah blah blah. Or the the woman who said who's like slightly obese, saying they point and stare at me when they when I'm eating. People don't realise that these people have feelings. They just make a mockery of of other people, and it's wrong. They shouldn't do it. It's judgmental, and basically what our souls do. What I love about people. Wow, talking about people who um, go into extremities with 
eating habits to make themselves stay as a cover model. Not eating, not eating this, not eating that. So it's damaging the body and then they should fade away. Do you know what I mean? People can be so vain in that respect that they just want to, you know, they, they, they're damaging the health doing it. When you should just be who you are, not what other people tell you to be or what people have you have shamed you into. I really like this, Alessia Cara. I can go a little while longer, she fades away. What I love about people is when they're just being themselves and not worrying about what they look like. Eyelashes and my hair extensions, that's it was one we don't have. Uh, it's been something that I've struggled with my entire life, not feeling like I fit in. See, her perfect, she don't understand, she's worth it all that. Alessia is being the voice for all these people. She's the one who's speaking for them, for the ones who are insecure about whatever they they think is wrong with them or whatever people are talking about them from in front of the face and making them feel like dog shit, if you like. And she's saying, like, no, it's a positive message that Alessia's spreading. I'll be your voice. You know, and it's, it's good. I like it. Hold on and just wait until you can get out of that bubble because the things that seem like weaknesses, that seem like weird things that make you strange, when you become an adult, you get out into the world, you're going to find out that all those differences, they're like your greatest strengths. Embrace who you are. I said that before. Absolutely. <laughs> A lot of it was in my own head, I realize now. There's always someone that's unique now, which was the cool part, and that's what made me comfortable to realize that every single person is different. My personality outshines everything else at the end of the day. What only matters is what I think of myself, and that everyone has different kinds of beauty. Smile. Smile. Oftentimes, the world both directly and indirectly tells us what we shouldn't be happy with, that we shouldn't be happy with ourselves if we don't fit certain beauty standards. Scarcity or beautiful is a reminder that beauty isn't only one look, shape, size, or color. It, is, it isn't always tangible. It comes with an endless amount of forms, and we need to recognize that. Like I said, everyone should have their, you know, the judgments in this world should be should not be there. But there's too many people who are far too judgmental until something happens to them. Karma will get them people at some point. And, you know, people shouldn't have to go through that. They're all still human beings at the end of the day. And for the, for, for someone to be the object of someone's jokes, they've had their laugh for five minutes and they've moved on with the rest of their life. For that person, if they've heard the that the butt of that joke, then their their, their day's ruined. Or their, their next week's ruined. Or you know, you never know what sort of edge they're on or, or you know how far you've pushed them over. 
so people should really think before they start taking the piss out of people all the time and uh, you know for the people who do feel different try and embrace who you are God has dealt you that hand just like she said in the song use it as a strength you know not, not everyone's got the same sort of like fighting mentality and stuff like that I know I understand that but you know until you embrace who you are You'll uh, you'll you'll just succumb to it. I mean, if someone took the piss out of me, I'd just be like, oh, fuck off, you prick. <laughs> That'd be it. Yeah. I'm just talking like a common idiot now. But I would. I, I'm I'm strong-willed. Not everybody is. So you always think before you take the piss out of other people. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe. And I shall see you all on the next one.